Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes to the field for the Vegas Shoot 2019 first phase of the shoot-off. Shooting for third place in the compound female championship. Representing Mexico, Linda Ochoa Anderson. Representing the United States of America, Arizona, Alexis Ruiz. Representing the Republic of Korea, Choi Bo-min. Representing the Russian Federation, Alexandra Savenkova. Representing Belgium, Sarah Priels. Shooting for the second place compound senior position. Representing Indiana, Scott Starnes. Representing Virginia, Kendall Woody. Shooting for the championship in the recurve men's category. Representing the Republic of Korea, Lee sang -yung. Representing the Republic of Korea, Min byung -yong. One practice then will now take place under the supervision of our NFAA Vegas shoot judges. Bruce will be calling the scores after the practice end and the first scoring end. We are about to begin with the first practice end. Broadcast booth, everyone. It's the Vegas Shoot 53rd edition here at the South Point Hotel and Casino. My name is Greg White, and sitting alongside me for this glorious event for 53rd is Braden Gelantine. Braden, welcome to the broadcast booth. Thank you, Greg. I'm glad to be here. All right, so we have a couple of things that are going to be going on. As was introduced, we have three different matches, distinct matches. For the on the women's side, we have Five women shooting off to third place in the compound senior division. Scott Starnes and Kendall Woody shooting off for second spot. That was won actually by Keith Trail out of West Virginia. He shot a perfect 900. And for Scott Starnes, who was cruising in that same category at the end of yesterday, he dropped one point and found himself in a tie with Kendall Woody. But the big one, I think, in this one has to be for first place. We're talking recurve men, so we have Lee and Min going after each other, both from Korea. But the stories were so different as Lee, who was our number one qualifier, was behind at the end of day two, but shot his way a 299 with a recurve. That's incredible. That's amazing shooting. 47 axes for him. Min, on the other hand, 296 on the day. Just one extra point, and Min would have won it outright. But this is where we sit. So you heard the rules for this one. One under practice. This, this is just practice. So Braden, you have to bring this up, and that is, here you are <laughs> at the Vegas shoot, and you've been shooting in, in a variety of e even in the arena. But now we're commentating, looking at the targets behind us is an absolutely crazy load of fans. You have lights, you have music. Different pressure than normal. Different feelings than normal. Absolutely, it's it's totally different than when you're shooting just you know the qualification round, and here it's the practice round is, is really good because it gives it gives the athletes a chance to acclimate to the to the surroundings and the situation. I think it's a huge advantage for anyone who has shot in the World Cup final on Saturday night. Just um, getting used to the crowd, getting used to the nerves, the lighting situation is all a little bit different. So any any experience you have up here is going to pay tenfold today. But uh, I'm excited to see what happens with recurve. Uh, Korea's been historically one of the powerhouses for outdoor 70 meter recurve shooting and it's not really a surprise to see in the last you know two or three years that they're translating that to indoor success indoor recurve is extremely technical just like compound you see it more of a shooter thing than you know a, a form or a technique as long as you do the same thing every time these are the athletes we see you know, having success first scoring end and we know you at home watching this 
with multiple classes going on and seconds and third places, we're going to try to keep you posted as well as we can. But we want to focus on this particular championship. You can tell by his follow through that broke a little high left and he's dialed in. Min delivers ten. his first one with a 10. Let's talk about this particular scoring end. So he touches the line there, but what? It's the higher score. Um, for those that don't know, all the air has to do is touch the line to receive the higher score. This end, the entire Big Ten counts as 10. Next end, only the X rank will count as 10, which is going to be crazy for the recurve shooters because they never shoot inner 10. Oh, yeah. Interesting technique, I think, by Lee on that one. Not your typical Korean, you know, drop forward, bounce, I'd bounce. I'd like to see him shoot a clean shot. Both of those look like his sight picture may have been high left when it fired. Mm. Yeah, it's going off a little quick for him. I think the pressure is probably a little stronger on the bow arm, but it's he's having success. Yeah, I think he was very relieved to see that arrow hit the middle. All right, we're headed to a second end for recurve. So recurve mail, $22,000 in total prize money available for this class. The winner walks away with $10,000, second place only $3,000. That's that's an incredible pay, dis, you know, pay dis disparity right there. Yeah. I'm sure that's adding. <laughs> All right, so in this particular, this is different if you shot your local tournament. Tell me about the line and what right, they're up to. Right, so about five yards in front of the targets, the athletes are required to stop while the judges are doing a three man rotation, each call, calling each arrow individually so that they have a consensus, consensus and the consensus will be the final score. And what we'll see is Bruce Cull, who's in the middle of your screen with the tie on, he'll more than likely start calling out arrows. He's got a solid 30. Yeah. Three X's. Looks like she could definitely give her side a click left. But that's pretty common when you get a little nerfed up to push a little harder on your bow arm and have a left impact. Bruce trying to get on the microphone there and tell people what's up. Somebody needs to turn Bruce's mic on. But Lindo Choi Anderson, just like Brayton just called, just drill in the middle. There we go. Top arrow looks a little tall, but should probably still hang big time. And again, this is for third place for the compound women. Ruiz. There's Bruce. So Ruiz with the 30. By the way, Alexis Ruiz shot the exact same score she shot last year to win this and finds herself in third. That's how the competition has increased That's in one year. Going into this year, there were three women who have shot 900, and this year we have two more add their name to the list. So any other year, this 900 would have won, but this year they're, they're going to be scrapping it out later. Okay, it looks like Bowman Choi has shot a 29, so she'll be eliminated here. Mm-hmm. Got it. Does that mean she's eliminated? Yes. That's it. One on regular scoring, Zavankova, 30. Looks like she's got three X's as well. Not that it matters yet. Yet. <laughs> Does it matter in your head though, Braden, when you're shooting, you know, just this round? Oh, absolutely. To be able to know that you can do it under the same tension and, and pressure, it's like an incredible relief. Looks like Sarah smoked hers as well. That's it. Four of the five women. Mm -hmm. So that would mean that uh, Troy Bomin is going to be relegated to seventh. $850 for her effort mm -hmm. in prize money. Now we move over to the championship recurve male. 
This should be our number one qualifier, Lee. So Lee with a 30, as we saw. It's good shooting. Absolutely. And he hit two X's. So moving forward, he'll have, I mean, and on paper, he's shot 47 mm. versus 44 for Min. <laughs> so he's got a slight advantage on paper. But under the light, bright lights of Vegas, anything's possible. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> One end doesn't translate into another end here, for sure. So we go to another end of shooting to determine the champ. I think they're trying to discuss what's the rules. <laughs> right. Is it inside? Is it outside? Oh, it's going inside re real quickly. Yeah, because like I said earlier, uh, with World Archery rules, these guys have never shot with the X, with needing the X for a 10. So oh, right. It's going to yeah. be a major change. Now we're moving on to the compound senior. Starnes with a 30. Starnes on the right-hand side of your screen, Kendall Woody on the left-hand part of your screen, and they are shooting for second place. They tied with 899s. Starnes with a higher X count, 75. Oh, it looks like Kendall may have dropped one. Yeah, you don't normally see the embrace. Up, oh, yes. Arrow in target three is a little low right. And Woody, That's it, 29 for Kendall Woody. So that'll decide that. So Scott Starnes will take second place, and Kendall Woody will leave here in third. Congratulations to Keith Trail with his perfect 900, the winner in the compound senior division. And <laughs> this is Vegas sometimes, right? Just like that, it's decided. Right, we've had so many shootoffs that have, you know, ended in one end and many more that have gone five or six. So now we move on to only the X-Ring scores 10 points. Not inside-out scoring, though, right, Braden? Right. So, again, the arrow must touch the line to receive the higher score, and it doesn't matter if it touches the, you know, the Big Ten line like some other tournaments. Mm -hmm. So we've had one woman eliminated in the shoot-off for third place in the compound female division, the championship, of course, and that's Choi Bo Min from Korea. So still left in it is Linda Ochoa Anderson, Alexis Ruiz, our champion from last year, Alexandra Savinkova, from Russia and Sarah Priels from Belgium, who now resides in the UK. At this point, I'd say any archer with a world archery background, as far as compounds is concerned, would have an advantage because that game is entirely played on the small axe as the ten ring. But all these women are tried and true in with, that regard. So, with, with all your experience in world archery, have you ever seen athletes like this just kind of joking and you know talking i mean usually i see the koreans be very serious right that, that's something we've seen with the koreans in the last two years is, is they've been a lot more open with their emotions and in the past they've been you know brick walls as far as that's concerned i'm not sure i've seen two guys out palling around on the line shooting for first place in vegas <laughs> but uh, i've seen them in smaller tournaments for sure <laughs> second end of elimination rounds but you can see now that the whistle's blowing the the intensity is definitely ramped up. Yep. This could be for the top prize for the gold, $10,000 in the recurve men's championship. Kind of steering that arrow up this ball on. And he wants to know from the coach in his coach's box, Min, There's beautiful X. shot. Casey's got a one point lead after one arrow. As far as say tens. at this point. And Lee with that letdown kind of put some pressure on himself. Oof. Now there's no. no penalty there. That's a nine. Okay. This is an arrow just out. Right. That clinches it. Another oh, 30. Unbelievable. the answer, but a little bit too late for Lee. A little anticlimactic for these shooters that are normally shooting on the world stage. They have to wait for the time to expire and head down and take a look at the scores. That's probably the least enthusiastic Vegas champion we'll see today. <laughs> we have more coming up after these matches. So first, we'll get to Linda Ochoa Anderson in the battle for compound women's bronze or third place. Looks like a 28. Once again, that scoring, the 
you have to touch that inside 10 inside x you know right. it's, it's it's how we determine that just depends on what we're looking at. so 29 for linda ochoa anderson that high right impact her pin probably broke in the center but a lot of times with a compound shooter if they get a little tentative on the bow arm and then you know pull a little bit too hard you'll see that spray out high right looks like alexis has two tens on her second and third target i haven't seen the first one yet Okay, and so the way this scores is the person with the highest score, if you tie it, you continue. Lower score, you're out. So Ruiz set the bar. Those look pretty good elevation-wise. Mm -hmm. So Ochoa Anderson definitely out of this one. It looks like she'll be go home at fifth. Yes. Sixth. A fourth, sorry. A uh, fourth. Third, fourth. Uh, seventh, fifth. fifth. Sixth. 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 <laughs> right, because this is yes. for third, yeah. I believe Sarah has a 30. Heard her coach hooting and hollering after her last hour. She's been a hammer lately, has she not? Yeah, she's been shooting amazing. She had a second place finish in. Lancaster a few weeks ago. Moving over to the championship recurve mail. Twenty nine. Wonder if he still understands what exactly what's going on. Right. I think this might decide our Vegas champion for recurve mail and ten thousand dollars. Yep. Min Young Young will take it and become the Vegas champion in the championship recurve mail category and walk away with ten thousand dollars to his credit. Plus whatever sponsorship money he gets along the way as well. Uh, he seems more relieved that it's over versus uh, <laughs> you know exuberant that he's won. But congratulations to Min from Korea. As we will continue now with three shooters in our compound female category. We have later on in this program we are going to see the shoot off for first place where two women were able to shoot. Braden mentioned earlier, 900 scores, perfect scores. Soche won 76. See those replays and just like you're saying, you just, Lee never quite looked like he was all that confident, although he was hitting. You just see the attitude of the bow when it just kind of flops down on the side and you're dragging the stabilizer across. Right, and those shots, you just, you know, something was just a little bit off and that's the end of your day. And no time to really gain experience here and get into a rhythm. It's it's over in two ends. Exactly. To scoring in number three, another end of X scoring, right, not inside out just yet. We're going to continue with the X scoring the rest of the way. Okay. That was a super solid shot. definitely in the X ring, Savinkova as well, and Sarah Priels. So all even at the moment. Counts as 10. Sarah Priels shot was definitely in. It's a half shot, Savinkova in as well. And Alexis Ruiz looks like she's center punched. Got it. Maybe a little bit off to the right, but it's definitely a half shafter. Shot from pretty good. Priels, if she's shooting 27s, Braden, I think she's got that line as well. So I she's got 23s, 23 diameter shafts. Might be close on Priels, but I think it's going to be okay. Although she's putting her jacket on, maybe that's just for warmth. I think it's for warmth. Keep the muscles, keep the muscles nice and warm. 
We might be going to another end of scoring. But if I know anything from being a competitor, you'd like to go down the line thinking the arrow's out to find it in versus the other way around. So I can see you're doing it playing, you know, mental games to stay focused on yourself. Confirmation of the 30 for our 2018 champ. For sure, we're going one more end. As long as there's a tie between two archers, we continue to move on. See how quickly the judges take a look at this. The only one I, I really thought might have been there is that number three target. Yeah, I, I, that does look a tick tall with a 23 diameter shaft. Mm -hmm. Now, Braden, do a lot of women shoot 27s, 23s, 25s, like, and, and why? Right, you, you'll see the majority of women shooting a 23 diameter shaft because it, it's got a softer spine and at their shorter draw length, shorter, uh, they, they tend to have shorter draw lengths and, and pull about 55 pounds as the maximum. There's a few women who are shooting 60, but it's really difficult at 27 inches to break down the, the 27 or 25 diameter shaft. There's a few that are able to do it, but most just stick with the 23. It's a lot more manageable. So basically what you're saying is yes, the 27 will give you a bit of an advantage in terms of a line cutter, but at the end of the day, what's more important is you have a an arrow that shoots well out of your bow. Right, a 23 diameter shaft will give you know someone with a shorter draw, less poundage, uh, a tighter group spread. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. in this game, you, you don't want to have a very critical arrow that you know when you make a small mistake will, will land in the nine ring. Why the target change? The lines are getting chewed up, and the judges want to be able to make sure that they're giving an accurate assessment of, of the arrow value. So, so when we get to this point, really, it's the judges that are making the request. Right, I'm actually surprised that they shot the last end on use targets as well. Okay. You can see the little target pins that were on there. Those are something that was provided to each archer that in the bag. Over 3,700 archers here at the 53rd edition of the Vegas shoot, the South Point Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. Most of those classes already wrapped up. All we have left is a couple of shooters. First place for the compound female to come. We also have compound young adult where we had two shooters that were able to score perfect 900s. They'll be shooting off for the win. Trevor Silverson and Connor Sears. And then we have <laughs> quite the story in the open division. The amount of shooters that yeah, qualify. It was a free for all for 900s today. <laughs> it was crazy. We'll talk more about that later as we get to our trying to decide who is going to be third. All of them hit. Alexis, right? Look like you look good. It looks good, yes. Yeah. By the way, we're the shooting distance here is 20 yards. So imagine if you're an NFL fan, the actual red zone. We're probably another what, maybe seven or eight yards behind that. Braden could see it with his bare eyes, and I cannot. I've got to put the glasses up. Alexis, 10, seven, Coven, nine. Yes. And Sarah just off nine. That is Alexis can wrap it up here with the 10. Shot broke good. She got it. A smile on her face. There it is. A 30. For the Arizona native. At 29 out the top. Both of them. So it looks like after we get the official scoring that another podium finish for Alexis Ruiz first and third for the last two years she's becoming quite a shooter she is and, and she handles herself so well under the highest pressures it's very impressive
So it looks like Alexandra Savinkova will take fourth place. Sarah Friel's fifth. The ties will be broken on their qualification rounds. Um, oh, is that how that's done? Whereas Alexandra had 65 Xs and Sarah only 64, so. Final confirmation coming from Bruce. There's the 29. So congratulations to Ruiz on her third place finish. And handling the pressure to perfection. Thriving under the pressure. Yeah, right. So Alexis Ruiz, the winner of our third place shoot-off. We still have first place to be decided in compound women. Against the Korean, Cho Che Wan, and the Colombian, Sarah Lopez. Cleaned it to become the fourth and fifth women ever to shoot 900s here in Vegas. So many 900s across the board. A big shock, I think, that flights, the compound flights, which is the the deepest division over are just about 1300 competitors this year competing in that 899 was the top score in that one where two 900s decided it last year right i think the last shooter made it to end six today and seven today with that 900 intact 